want to do our our interview. What up? What up? Let me know if y'all can hear me, man. We're gonna get this thing working, man. You know, we're gonna always figure it out. That's one thing we're gonna do. Give me a second. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Oh man, I'm on IG now. I'm on IG now. We gotta go. We gotta go. Hey, on YouTube, can y'all hear me? Give me a thumbs up if y'all can hear me on YouTube. We're going to see how we can get this thing working one way or another. Hold on. <laughs> Said the connection is iffy. Because uh, I'm streaming it. So I'm streaming it to my YouTube but I also got the Instagram going. I don't know. We're going to figure it out, man. Let me see. I'm going to have to tell the, uh, the parents. Y'all going to have to disconnect from that internet. Hey, uh, Razor, text Nana and tell Nana to turn off the internet. Tell them to get off the Wi-Fi. Get off the Wi-Fi. So I'm interviewing a couple of brothers from the movie called The Mail Lady on Tubi. Will Coleman and then my dog Andre. Now we were supposed to do it on StreamYard, so I have my YouTube up. But right now, YouTube, they can't uh, connect to my StreamYard. So we were going to do it through the Instagram Live while I have it streaming on my damn Instagram. But it's looking like everything is shaky. Slight delay. Damn. What about now? Oh shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got him on. Everything is shaky. Will, can you hear me? What up, though, fam? What's going on with you? Uh, shoot. Slight delay. Damn. Uh, let me see. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Cool, 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 cool. All right, man. Listen, y'all, we got Will on here. I know it took us a minute, but we were going to figure it out. We were going <laughs> to figure it out. Most definitely. What's cracking? Man, nothing much, man. Nothing much, Mr. Derek. That's what we're <laughs> that's what we're doing, Mr. Derek. Now, all right. So I know I know we three minutes into this, but we're gonna take this from the beginning. What up, right. what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm old IJ, and we got Will Coleman, aka Mr. Derek from the Mail Lady on Tubi. And you know, on Tuesdays we watch Tubi movies, and last week, or was it last week or the week before? <laughs> All I know is we watched the Mail Lady. We went on Tubi, and when we got on Tubi, I said, What is this Mail Lady? We're gonna watch that tomorrow. And then we watched it, and you guys. I'm not going to lie. You shocked us with that. We were not expecting that because we watched the movie last night. We're not going <laughs> to say that name because we talking about the male lady. But we gave that shit that we watched last night a yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, look, thank you all for watching. Uh, it's a pleasure. Um, we just wanted to give you all a, a great movie. And uh, we had uh, most definitely a, a terrific outcome so far. And uh, just riding the wave, man. I appreciate you, fam, for having me on, too. Uh, no problem, no problem. So Yo. this interview isn't going to be long, but how we do it, of course, I'm going to ask you a little bit about you, but then we're going to go into you as the character of Derek. And we just want to get a feel because when we when we watch these movies, I always insert myself as a pretend character in these shows. Right, but right. before we before we get into uh, to your story, I just have to say, I apologize because when I was first watching, I thought you was the bad guy. I Come thought on, you dog. Was Come on, man. You got to ride with me, dog. Come on, dog. You can't do me like this, man. <laughs> hey, I even said, I'm like, man, usually I'm on the dude's side. But I'm like, man, this nigga Derek. Hey, I don't say, know hey this, this. This, this, this motherfucker out of character right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, everybody, man. This is this is your boy, Will Comer, right here. This is not Derek. This is not the... This is not the the uh the corn bar y'all was expecting. The hell no, I'm from the east side of Detroit, born and raised. When I tell you this was different, but uh I was happy to do it. You feel me? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you did a you did a hell of a job because man, the movie was definitely better than we were thinking. But we're gonna we're gonna get into the movie. So how how did you get into acting, and what was what was one of your biggest roles? Was this one of your bigger movies, or have you had stuff prior to this? You know what, man? I'm gonna say this was probably the the third or second biggest movie. My biggest movie, I say, was a, that was a challenge. Challenge would have to be Sons of a Preacher. Uh, then I would have to say Surprise was next because I'm not an emotional guy. Um, so doing a cycle thriller like Surprise was tough um, because you had to really embody and capture uh, people's minds with, you know, with the psyche. You know, so because I couldn't use sex. I couldn't curse. Yeah. So when you get movies like that, when you can curse and when you can, you know, use violence and things like that, um, that gives you more ammunition to bring out different characters. But when you got to capture and, and take everybody by storm by this, this is hard. Just by eye movement, um, uh, different different stances, body language, stuff like that, um, nuances. Uh, that's when it becomes critical with acting, you know. But uh getting i would i would have to say this would have to be my second or third but how i got into acting man i just got to say by the grace of god man to be honest with you it was something that i never thought about doing a day in my life and uh god put this in my path man and after walking through one or two doors i said well damn i guess this is what you want me to do so let me go ahead and take this consideration so i did it and um after taking classes and doing this you know uh la uh new york um here and you just, you know, you start embodying it and saying, okay, well, I guess this is uh, something that, you know, is meant for me to do. And I just, you know, ran off with it. Yeah. Now, when you you say you were taking classes, how how often, like how frequent were you taking classes? And were they were they set periods? Like, okay, you got a four-week course or how does that work? Because, I mean, I, I joke around and, you yeah. know, I, I just ad-lib and do all of that stuff. But yeah. as far as, like, professional acting with you, how did that how did that route go? Well, I would say after uh when I got done with NARC, I said, you know what, let me start sharpening my tools a little bit more. Um, because now I want to start taking my range a little bit further. So that's when um I went out to an audition in LA. That's how I got my one uh, acting coach. And um I ended up failing at the audition. You know, because I was like, shit, if I'm gonna do this acting thing, let me take it serious, let me run straight out to LA. Went out there, man, and um, it didn't go as well as I planned on. You know, I made a fool out of myself. But, you know, um, sometimes, man, you got to, you know, your best lesson, man, is just to go by action, you know, versus you just sitting up there talking about it. So I went, I failed, and sometimes that's the best lesson. And yeah. uh guy seen me fail, and he seen me get down on myself. And he said, hey, bro, because I was laughing like, damn, I fucked that up. And he said, hey, man, um, why don't you try doing this and doing that? And I'm sitting in the back of this man's Uber, not knowing that this guy just played on Superman, Batman, all this stuff. And uh, he said, I do classes on the side, man. And I took it in consideration. So his partner, he had a partner out in New York that his strengths is this. And I said, well, I'm going to take both of y'all classes. And, uh, but, you know, they got week courses, two week courses. And um, I just said, anytime I got a chance to fly out for a few days, that's what I do. And so that's what I do from time to time when I get a chance. Or we just do it by video. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Because... They they always say Mo, you should get into acting. But me, I'm like, man, I really you just... got it, Mo. <laughs> you you light skin, bro. You got it. It's right there, dog. <laughs> see, hey, see, hey, you can't say that because whenever we watch a Tubi movie, they put a light skin brother. They that look like you, Mo. I'm like, hey, man, y'all can't say I look like all, and it'd be the corniest dude. Too. I'm like, man, hell no, nah. Mo. You look like <laughs> you're from the east side of Detroit, dog. I'm telling you, man, you you match the character, fam. <laughs> I mean, I I would get in there. Like I was telling another brother, he was talking about. It. I said, "Man, you put me in the movie. If you can put me in the hood movie, at least let me live for fifteen minutes and don't let me get open hand slap." You know, you can me. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> man, I well, Andre, that because, because I know my audience, they gonna always say, "Man, you remember you got slapped on?" I'm like, "Damn, y'all right? Y'all got me. Y'all got me." Yeah, I, I got slapped. I got slapped up a little bit. What's up with Andre? Is Andre falling through? Uh, he said he couldn't connect. Okay. Yeah, I was having that problem the last time um where I couldn't connect using this uh this this stream thing is a little weird. Yeah, because I, I was you, talking why, to him. Why did why did you go IG? Uh because my most of my audience is on YouTube, and since this is where I was doing I, I watched my Tubi stuff on here. I don't really 
I haven't really been on IG as much as I should have. I just had it up, but like before I brought you up, I was trying to get on there and told him to join, but I don't know. YouTube is just easier for me. I got you, brother. I got you. I got you. But we live, so, man. We live, man. So come with the questions. Yeah, we got it to work. And most of my, I won't call it uh, my fans, most of my audience, they, they understand. So I tell them, because I got a Discord and everything also. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to shift towards the male lady. Uh, yep. How long would a movie like this take you guys? Typically, like, you know, typically a movie like this probably would have took about, I would say, at least two weeks. Um, we actually knocked it out in six days. Um, it was it was some complicated uh, pieces there um, because, for one, the script got changed like three times. And so the day of, I got handed a new script. When I say new script from front to back, and Dre was like, nah, man, I ain't really changed too many lines. It was just a couple. And I'm pissed, man, because I just got off the plane. And I'm like, dog, I didn't already remember the last version. It's the second time. And normally I can download the script, man, like a day. Like, it, I mean, like, word for word. Like, I, I can do it. So, man, I get the script. And I'm like, I said, do you realize we on a tight schedule, bro? You got, like, 80-something pages here. I got to memorize, and I'm on every page. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> and these paragraphs are not small. It sounds like it when we acting like, you know, it sounds like it's one or two lines, but bro, these are paragraphs. So you got to dumb it down and lock it in. And luckily, man, we was able to do it, man. Molly, shouts out to her, man. She did a, a terrific job. AG did a terrific job. And there was some frustrating moments there, man, but we got the job done and we had a, a great director, you know, Dre. He gave us a piece, man, and he, you know, he just told us, man, just go ahead and do your thing, and if you got to maneuver a couple things, do it, and it came out great. Yeah, the reason yeah. I, that's why I was asking, because you guys did a good job, so hearing you did it in two weeks, it has us looking like, damn, they really putting in some work, because the no, storyline was good. We did it in six days. Six, oh, yeah, that's right, you said it was supposed yeah. to be two weeks, but six days. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all are putting in that work, and and yeah. the good thing is the storyline was good. It didn't fall off. Like in the beginning, we were wondering, all right, what's going on? Everybody in the chat, nah, Mo. Cause I'm like, man, I'm 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 with Derek. They were like, nah, right. Mo, bad guy. And then I was right, like, wait, right. a minute, he might be the bad guy. <laughs> 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 Only to find out that Miss Renee was out here. We're gonna get to your butt, Renee. We're gonna get to you. Oh so man. as far as being on the set, how was your relationship? Did you know either one of them prior to filming this? Um, yeah, me and AG worked together before. Um, so the familiar, you know, we was real familiar with each other. Um, Molly, Molly's new, she came from LA, so I had to immediately go in a room like that's my first time meeting her, you know, versus us being on the Zoom. But I had to go in a room, shut the door, and say, Listen, um, you know, who are you? What are you? What are you about? You know, give me some of your background. Let's get comfortable with each other because we got a scene coming up where you know my clothes is down off and yours is off, so we got to. You know make this joke right now so the adjustments was made man and um you know we made it we made it feel like we knew each other forever man at the end of the day and it came out great you know what i'm saying yeah and even when you guys had the dialogue in the kitchen it's like all right yeah. it's believable and i know you were talking about when you were you know paul's naked almost naked paul. we gotta gotta call you out Derek. yeah i gotta <laughs> call you out yeah, when she had that paint on, when she had you against the wall, your arms in there, <laughs> she took your shirt off like a kid. Hey, oh, man, look at Derek. <laughs> then everybody like, how the hell y'all get that paint off the walls? Fuck the sex scene, but look at the paint on the walls. You know what I'm saying? Y'all worried about the wrong shit. This man in here cheating in his house. <laughs> but see, that's why I said in the beginning, I thought Derek was the bad guy. She took yeah. advantage of you, man. Derek didn't have no control over that. So if you're man, watching yeah. the middle hey, man, I was held against my damn will, man. Come on, Mo. Help me out over here, dog. It wasn't oh, hey, I got you. Like I said, once we watched it, I had a full understanding. I said, wait a minute. Derek right. was the victim this whole time. I was the victim, Derek, man. Most he definitely. He was trying to manage a household. We don't yeah. know what Renee was doing, talking about $5,000. I don't just have $5,000. Hey, man, she ain't, she ain't give me no booty cheeks, no yams in five months. What y'all want me to do, man? Y'all want me to sit back? So I know you said you guys had like another script. Was it initially supposed to be five months or maybe like a week or two? Because five months, is that's crazy. Man, you got to talk to Dre. That's why I wish Dre was here <laughs> because he can kind of critique what happened there. But all I know is five months fell into play and he was like, five. I said, five months, Dre? I said, man, I said, you, I, hold on, bro. <laughs> 
Now let me let me now I gotta adjust my energy different because if it's five months, I gotta really get kind of dramatic when it's time for that playtime, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> so asking Will now, has Will ever had a male lady in his life? Not a, not per se like an actual male lady, but a crazy one like this. You know what, man? I had I had one that I had one that probably fell short of a couple screws, but no, not like that, man. I shit. Uh, you know, I ain't never been married either, but you know, yeah. that, that's a little close calling right there, but do it in your own house. No, I never have, man. What about you, Mo? Uh, not that crazy. No, I mean, you know, we all had a couple of them, but ain't nothing wild like that where they were trying to expose me or anything, you know. Hey, y'all, y'all see that man? Most of his head start moving around and shit. <laughs> you gotta think about it. Y'all see that? I'm doing the interviewing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the interview. Man. We talking about the male lady. We got Will Coleman over here. We don't need to know what Mo got going on. Not right now. We'll bring we'll bring Will on a little bit later. We got to talk about Derek. Most right. definitely, bro. He said, "Hold on, man. You don't turn me into the damn you the interviewee." <laughs> I was not in the male lady, y'all. I was jogging down the street because I was wondering. Every day she would come over to your house. Alone would come over. I was just wondering what were the neighbors thinking? Like, dog, she was sitting and talk to you for 15, 20 minutes. I know they were like, where the hell is our mail at? <laughs> tripping, tripping, bro. Tripping. Like, man, like when I tell you, dude, I was I was sitting up here trying to figure out and fathom, like, how the hell could this really happen in the household, man? This is nuts, man. But this Molly pulled it off, dude. Even from the time when we first started, the, the actual breakout scenes and me, you know, walking out of the house, grabbing the mail from her. Like me looking into this lady's eyes, I'm just looking at her like, Molly, okay, Molly, you, you, all right, you really in there. Okay, so this is, okay, now, now we at, let's go ahead and make this happen here. <laughs> let me, let yeah. me ask you this. So when, when she released the AI, was that real AI or they had you do the voiceover? <laughs> no, nah, man, that was, that was really me and her doing a voiceover. We just made it sound AI-ish, but that was really, really me and her doing that. Okay, okay, cool. Yep, so we, yep. You know, I, I joke around while we watch. I was like, nah, that wasn't that wasn't Derek, man. That was real uh, AI right there. Man, he... <laughs> so, <laughs> so with with the scenes that she was doing when she was yeah. doing the ASMR. Okay. Now I know you weren't like physically there. So were you like you guys were watching her record that? And I know they had you on the computer acting like you was watching. So how was that for you? Like pretending to go through all of that? Well, you know, they split the two scenes up. So yeah. she went downstairs and did her scene. Um, but of course, I was watching. I seen how she was, you know, doing everything because I, I'm intrigued because now I'm producing. So I want to know exactly, you know, what are the footsteps behind this? So so she shot her scene. You know, they were down there and I was upstairs. So I watched it from the screen. Then I did my scene later on that night. Now, imagine doing that scene. It's just me and Dre in the room. The camera guy was like, fuck this. I'm going to set the camera up, but I'm about to get a body hit. You know what I'm saying? So I told Dre, I said, we got to do what we got to do. But it was weird. It was awkward as hell, man. I ain't going to lie, but we knocked it out. Yeah, because that's what we were talking about. I was like, man, that's got to be weird to just do that. Like, you got the cameraman watching. You got to act like you into it and shit. I'm like, damn. Hey, you better Mo. than me, man, because I would have been laughing. Now, I don't think I could have been serious in that moment. Hey, Mo, the camera right here in your face. <laughs> the camera right here. And you you really going in because you know the whole world is about to see this, so you really got to make it feel real. So I'm hoping I, I did a good job, right? Yeah, you did. You did. I mean, you know, shit. I, I took it off the screen. The lady's like, "No, nah, I'm old lady." I'm like, "Hey, yo, yo, you, we ain't watching this, man." <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, it was stripped out, bro. It was stripped out, but I had a good time, man. So, as far as you and AG. Uh, yeah. how, do you, how do you say your name? You call her AG? Yeah. Amira, Amira Garrison. Amira. Okay. So as far Make as you and Amira. Ass, how, I mispronounced that, but it's cool. How was you two relationships? We heard how you and Molly were, and we seen you and Molly on screen a lot. Was it easy? Were you and uh, Renee playing Derek against her? Well, like I say, me and her, we already had uh, previous work together, so... Um, the connection was good. Me and her, we had worked together, like I said, on Surprise One. So, you know, we had already knew, like, what we needed to do, what, what kind of energy we need to bring on set. But like I say, when the script came the third time, we both was like, oh, shit, because she came in and was like, what's this? 
I said, that's the new script. She said, you got to be shit. And I was like, nah, this is what we got to do. This is what it is. So what's up? You ready? <laughs> but no, we, now, we got a good, we got a good relationship, man. Yeah. Now, are you, are you with the social media? Cause I'm going to have to follow you on Instagram, but are you with the social media to the point where Renee was like in real life? Or was that something you like, I don't really do that in real life. So it was easy for you to play Derek in that moment. You know what, man? I'm not I'm not the biggest social media guru guy, but I am present. You know what I'm saying? Um, like my PR and agent be on my ass about that. But uh, yeah, I'm on there. I'm present for sure, man. You got to be. I mean, it's free marketing at the end of the day. And you got to interact with your fans when you can. You can't get to all of them. And um, but yeah, I'm there. I'm there. Y'all hear that? We're I don't big time over here. Though. We got a PR team. It ain't just Mo on here talking. We got a PR <laughs> team, all right? <laughs> now, what I'm going to do, because uh, I wasn't going to hold you on here for too long, so I'm going yeah. to let people just ask a couple of questions in the chat, and True. we'll, we'll just go from that, and then, you know, I, get, go Is ahead. it possible for me to see the chats? Uh, Yeah, you should be able to. So on the side, you should be able to see, like, it should say, like, private, and then it should say chat on the side. I'm looking. Okay, I see it now. All right, shoot. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions for Will or Derek, go ahead and put that down there. We'll read it because we're not going to, you know, say we get a little 30 minutes. We good with that. You know what I'm saying? We'll bring, hopefully we can get Will back on here, but you know, hey, I'm going up. He going up. up? I'm, I'm seeing a lot of the comments right here. <laughs> get him. <laughs> now, <laughs> so I know we, we did some joking and stuff, but is Derek... Is he going to take care of that child? Is he going to be a deadbeat in the male lady, too? <laughs> hey, brother. Hey, look, that baby ain't mine. I don't know who baby that is. I don't know how many other black guys this girl done fuck with. So I don't know what to tell y'all. That ain't mine. <laughs> Would you be up for a part two? Most definitely, man. I um I enjoy playing uh Derek, man. I want to bring Derek back for sure. Uh I don't mind it. So I think Dre is working on it now. I don't want to get too many spoiler alerts out there yeah. for those who haven't watched it, but uh, most definitely want to bring that back. Yeah, definitely. I We were thinking about how you could do a part two, and we could definitely see it, and we'll watch it. Now, yeah. I see yeah. uh, my girl Kendall. She's saying, will it be a surprise part three? And Kendall, did we watch Did we watch surprise, Kendall? I think we watched surprise the first one. I'm hoping that we do a surprise uh, three. We had a different writer for surprise two. Um, surprise one was my favorite to be honest. Uh, surprise two was good. Um, but I just hope that three, you know, it comes about. And um, I know what's going to happen, but I can't share with you guys. But um, they're working on it, they're working on it. I can't wait. So I want to wait three the fuck up, most definitely. Yeah, all right. And then Mozzie says, How do you feel about the crazy fight scene with the crazy girl at the end? <laughs> She's talking about Molly. Yeah, you're talking about Molly and AG, right? Yep. Oh man, that, that was a fun scene to do, bro. Like they was up there working on that scene for a whole minute. Like we was trying to get the, the stabbing right with the blood coming out the arm. And yeah. I think you know what? AG, she's gonna kick my ass for saying that she made a mistake and really hit Molly in the face. <laughs> <laughs> See, if anybody just, know me, man. I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. Hey, look, you talking about some laughing shit, man. I was dying laughing. See, I was about to ask when it comes to those fighting scenes, like how close are people getting? Because I know y'all y'all didn't have no stunt double, so I was like, "Hey, how close are they really getting with this?" Hey, listen, bro. Like, I just shot my movie. Get ready for Fatal Secret, man. I just shot my movie that I wrote and uh, produced, and I'm actually in. And Tamika, aka Miss Stacy, in the movie, she slapped the hell out of me. And I said, "Hey, listen, we can't do too many takes of this shit now. Goddamn." You must be mad at your husband or something because you didn't slap my ass three times. So time out. See, and that's why I said, man, y'all can do the pistol whipping one time, but man, you can't do the open hand slap. Open hand slap is like, hey, man, that's crazy. Like, but you, you, can't, you can't overdo it, but you can feel when they really meant that shit when it came down from the south or some <laughs> shit. Like, this was something that's been it's been in your body. Like, your husband must have said something to you earlier this morning if you just slapped. Because the second time she slapped me, I said, hey, hold on, come here, come here. Pause, time out. Listen, you can slap now. I can take some pain, but hold on, goddammit. Whatever he said to you this morning, cut that shit out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my my brother Eric says, what is the dream role you would like to play in? You know what, man? Um, 
I'm good at martial arts. I would like to do a martial art movie. Uh, I'm a black belt in Aikido. Boxing, I could do some boxing. Um, I would love to do, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm really, really, I was banking on doing this one movie that I thought I was gonna get picked up for. They gave me a second audition. Um, I sent everything in. I was thinking I was coming back. I think they were, uh, it was trying to get me to do it a little bit sooner, but um, I ended up getting booked for another movie, but a slave movie based on like the 1920s let's take it back you know you got to really dig deep into your you know the roots of things and you know get your dialect and all that stuff now that's something that i want to get into and i wouldn't mind doing um something fictional as well okay, okay. yeah yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna make some calls we're gonna get you into the power universe you know what i mean we Man, let's do it let's <laughs> <laughs> the hood we stuff, the hood get stuff is easy for me to do bro like i can do that all day but it's just like I'm ready for that range, but now I'm ready to come back and start doing the hood stuff again, too. Okay. Yeah. So, Eric, uh, would you do? Would you do like a boxing movie? I would. I would. Okay. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's cool. You said you were black belt in Aikido? Aikido, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Hey, don't mess with Will. And nah. if you snap him, just, hey, just listen to what he got to say. If he tell you black time down up here, just... <laughs> Just walk over there with your hands behind your back. Dude. <laughs> no, bro. I'll be keeping it cool, brother. <laughs> well, I didn't want to hold you up, but I definitely appreciate you. Uh, sure. I'm gonna any more you. questions, man? Because I'm here, bro. Oh, so yeah. He said any more questions. We, any more we got questions, man? Here. I'm here for y'all. It's the you know holiday season approaching, man. So um, I got to get up out of here and go to Indiana tomorrow. So I got a, a movie out there I got to do called uh, Premeditated Murder. So okay. um, this is a new role for me. It's something different. Um, I play the the head of a prison, so I'm a gangster. So I'm a killer, all that good stuff. So, <laughs> and what's that? Called? What's that called? It's called premeditated murder. Premeditated murder. Yeah. Where's that going to be? What's that going to be on? Um, he's bringing up the Tubi, actually. Yeah. All right, we might have to check that out. We might have to check that out. Who would you now, like Miss Renee? Miss Renee wants to know. Who would you like to work with? Who would be your ideal person to work with? Was would this be in the independent film industry or the Do actual both. hires? Do both. Um, independently, man. Um, whoever wants to work. Um, I don't really, you know, have somebody specifically that, you know, I would want to make a request on. But anybody who want to work as far as the industry, the main, I would have to say a Jamie Foxx or mm. Denzel. Um, I would love to get a chance to work like Denzel is my number one, um, you know, because I feel like in my acting real, I would like I can do anything like you just put me in a place and just tell me what you need me to do. And I think I can do it. Um, so I have to say, you know, Jamie Foxx and Denzel. For sure. Yeah, I can. I can definitely see you have the range because, like you said, watching Derek and listening to Will. You can yeah. tell that the two totally different. So yeah, yeah, is it really yeah. hard to get into character as they're like to stay in character. I know you could, you know, um, I can do that. It, it took me a minute because you know, I already had my mind fixated on what I was doing when I got there. So when I jumped on set, when I jumped off the plane, I was a nerd already. Then I got interrupted by hey, we changed the script. So now I had to come back to Will and say, Oh shit. <laughs> I got to switch with the vibe. Now I got to look at the verbiage and make sure I come off right because I was already ready to, you know, start acting. So just like, you know, tonight, I got to really dive in and get dark for tomorrow yeah. when I jump on set. But I got a podcast first before we jump on set. So that's going to be a little dark, but I'll be all right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, do you watch Tubi movies outside of the ones that you're in? Do you just turn on Tubi and watch it? You know what I do um, when I get a chance to watch TV? I do. Uh, I check out my peers, man, and some of the guys that I've, you know, previously worked with or some of the guys I see out that I haven't had the pleasure to work with. But we all support each other. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Do you watch two B movies besides your own? OK, that was the question. What's up? E? What's going on, Eric? Yeah, that's my dog, Eric, right there. What man. up, dog? What been, up, what up, what up? Been for a while, man. So okay. him and my girl, Kendall, they they'll have the questions. Uh, Mazia said, would you be interested in working in a sci fi film? Most definitely, most definitely, man. Um, anything that attests the range, the only thing I won't do is sell my soul. You know what I mean when I say that, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, anything to, to stretch my range, I'm with it, man. I'm with it. Yeah. Ooh, cool. Uh, football, I would love to do a football movie. You know, I used to play football uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm open. I just want to work. Would you play football? You're a linebacker? Man, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all see y'all boy Mo, man. He's taking shots at me on the low. I'm, I'm you know asking. Saying? I was a DB, hey, so I'm just asking. I seen the physique in the movie. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. No, um, in high school, I played wide receiver, DB, kickoff return, pump return. Yeah. But I would, you know, free safety, wide receiver type deal. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. No disrespect. You come across that middle. I'm going to tighten you up. <laughs> 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 tighten you up, dog. <laughs> They got to call that flag, or I'm man, look, man, listen, you know, hey, listen, we played a whole different other kind of game versus now, man. They call everything. Yeah, definitely. Uh, JoJo just said, nah, you want to play the quarterback. Hey, for real, they have a football movie. We be, we be watching. Like, damn, is that Will? He ain't playing receiver. He ain't quarterback. We're like, man, this nigga ain't no quarterback. <laughs> hey, JoJo, man, I put it out there, bro. I still got a strong arm, man. I can throw it out there, bro. <laughs> Oh man, oh crazy! <laughs> but yeah, man. Hey, I, I definitely appreciate you coming on here. The male lady is on Tubi. Y'all check yeah. it out. Will Coleman, let them know what movies you have coming up again and where they can uh, where they can watch them at. Oh, uh, also your uh, social media. Fatal Secret. I just finished my movie um, about a week and a half ago. You ready for that? Uh, we're shooting for like spring for sure. That's a crazy thriller. Um, we have premeditated murder, which I'm working on, uh, director Sway Wilson. Um, then we got surprise three coming out. We doing, um, oh yeah, get ready. BMF three. I'm in that, uh, season whoa, three. Whoa, 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 we not, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. What's up, bro? Season three of BMF? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in season three. I made my way in season three. Yep, yep. hundred percent. Yeah. What's up, dog? Hey. What's up? What we doing? We got Will Coleman coming back for BMF. I, hey, you had to make time. Will Coleman's coming back for BMF. Well, he ain't agreed on it yet, but he's coming back for BMF. We got an insider, y'all. We made for sure. it. For we sure. made it. Yep, yep. I play uh, I play a bodyguard in there for Blake for sure, man. I'm all in there. Yeah, yeah. BMF um, March first, y'all. Tyler Perry, divorce in the black, uh, star making good. I'm in that, so you're gonna see me front and center, no shirt on, all that. So. Get ready, whoa, ladies. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's Are up? you going to have some scenes with your shirt on so we can watch the movie? Hey, man, you know what? <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't spoil nothing. I don't want to get uh get cut on nothing, so I'm going to keep it cool right now. But get ready, man. Divorce in the black. Ladies' stomach. shirts will be off. There you go. Um, You've probably seen the Ford commercial. The Holiday Ford commercial was out internationally. So um, y'all pretty much have probably seen that while y'all watching football. It didn't pop in your face. Your boy Will Coleman's dead. Oh, so God's been good, man. God's been good. We've been blessed, brother. That's good. That's good. What is your Instagram so I can bring that up for them? So if they want to reach out to you, follow you, and support you? Ghost underscore. Fresh underscore. Once again, at ghost underscore. Fresh underscore. All right. We got you. Hold on. Here we go. Here's his Instagram. Ghost underscore. Uh, underscore. Fresh underscore. Okay, we out here. We got some work coming, y'all. There you Boy go. Will is out Amen. here working. Hey, man, love y'all. Appreciate everything. Appreciate the hospitality, my brother. Mo, keep doing your thing, man. Stand on the black excellence, man. I see you. You too, brother. I definitely want to try to bring you back on for BMF, and yep. we're going to be keeping up with you and following the movies that you're in. The Mel Lady was a good movie. The twist, it was unexpected. Hey, man, you did a hell of a job, brother. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. Shout out to Paris Jones. Shout out to my boy, Andre. Shout out to Andre. You know what I'm saying? Hey, big shout out to Andre because he reached out to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And for me, I'm just like you. If somebody wants to work with me, then I'm I'm all for it. So when, when content creators, directors, actors, they reach out to me, especially in the Tubi scene and the independent, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm 100% I'm, I'm for that. So that's why I'm trying to cater my channel towards Tubi more. So all the up and coming actors, they'll come over here. We'll see them before they blow up. Just like hey, you, you up next, brother. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. God willing, dude. I'm working my tail off, man. So, hey, hey. appreciate all the support from everybody too, man. So let's keep watching. Um, we doing the best we can, man. It's, it's most definitely uh, these are hard work uh efforts, man. A lot of people think that you know by us jumping on Tubi and they they smash people sometimes the quality and this and that and the third. But at the end of the day, man, we doing this to entertain you guys. And um, none of this stuff is easy. 
I'm gonna tell you, I'm talking about from the ground up. None, none of this stuff is easy. So, salute to everybody that's that's trying to do something, man. So, and that's what I say when we watch it. There are there are some movies that aren't as good as others, but people mm -hmm. be saying they try to give them like zeros and like negative. I'm like, I can't give nobody a z like unless you're just not trying. But even being on Tubi, hey, you got to start off somewhere. So, it, man, hey, listen, listen, I just, do I just seen people say they can act right. They talk good. When that camera get the blinking in their face, man, they freeze up during the headlights. So, I mean, you, listen, you got to have some, some, <laughs> you know, you got to have those, man, to get in front of the camera, bro. Like, it's exactly. tough. Yeah, yeah. you doing your thing, brother. We definitely going to follow you. Hey, BMF season three, y'all, we got us an insider. We're going to have some inside information. We're going to find out what the hell Meech and Terry and them doing. <laughs> 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 Let's get it, Mo. Appreciate you, brother. But no, no problem, man. I definitely appreciate you joining. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram, ghost underscore fresh underscore. Will Coleman, Modi J. Thank you all for tuning in. Peace and love, brother. Let's get it.